Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary Channel, which is the build 25915, a build that brings into the Canary Channel a few more features from the Dev Channel, and of course, a few more improvements to the operating system, as well as fixes to existing features that had problems or issues in the last few flights. So in this video, we're going to try to cover them all. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated. So that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by KeysFan.com. KeysFan offers Windows, Office, and other tools licenses at a very good price. For example, you can get the Windows 10 Pro license for just $7 by using the coupon code TB50, and you can also upgrade for free to Windows 11 by using the coupon code TB50. You can also get Windows 11 Pro for just $13. Office licenses have an even better discount with 62% off by using the coupon code TB62. Check out the great prices from keysfan.com and the links from the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon codes. Thank you to keysfan.com for the sponsorship. Let's continue with the video. First of all, I remind you that Microsoft is bringing a lot of features from the dev channel to the Canary channel, which is of course the new file explorer that is redesigned with the new address bar, the new homepage, details pane, gallery section and more. Also the password less improvements and the never combine mode in the taskbar, which can be enabled in taskbar settings taskbar behaviors and then combine taskbar buttons and hide labels as you can see now this is working properly in the last few flights it wasn't working when Microsoft added it the first time also great news in this canary channel build is that the Windows copilot is also working in this one and of course it is not enabled by default it is a hidden feature if you want to enable it you can follow along a video or article that I've done a few weeks ago but probably I'm gonna make an updated video in which I'll show you how to enable all the hidden features from this build from the canary channel so if you don't want to wait for that that, you can just search out that video that I've done in which I showed you how to enable the Windows Copilot AI Assistant in the latest build from the dev channel, which now works also on the Canary channel. And of course, you have the Windows Copilot AI Assistant with the same functionalities that you have on the dev channel. And also great news, Microsoft has also added the native support for 7-zip and RAR archives inside the Canary channel. Yet again, a very nice addition that is coming from the dev channel. Microsoft has also added some changes and improvements regarding graphics in this build. So for example, they improved the the refresh rate logic to allow different refresh rates on different monitors depending on the refresh rate for each monitor and content shown on the screen. This will help most with refresh rate dependent multitasking like playing a game and watching a video at the same time. While a dynamic refresh rate is selected and battery saver is also enabled, Windows will remain at the lower refresh rate and not switch to the higher rate until after battery saver is disabled. In this build, we also have some news and additions related to the OB installation process of Windows 11 23. 3H2, and this was discovered by Phantom Machine 3, and we will have a new toggle for presence sensing access slash privacy settings inside the OB page, and you're going to see, of course, on the screen, a screenshot from Phantom Machine 3 of how that looks. Also, a small change that was discovered by Panther on Twitter is that you can now uninstall the remote desktop connection app directly from the search or the start menu. Just right click on it, and you're going to have the option to uninstall it. And also, if you right click on the taskbar, you'll notice that the option to enable slash disable the touchpad icon is missing in this build. This was also discovered by Xenopanther on Twitter, so a huge shout out to him. And he also provided a workaround for those of you who want to have that enabled again. You just have to open up the registry editor, right click on it and then run as administrator. And here you're going to have to expand H key current user, then software, then scroll down to Microsoft, expand Microsoft, scroll down until you find touchpad, double click on it. And here in the right side in an empty space, right click new the word 32 bit value and name this value touchpad desired visibility like this press enter and change its value to one if you want the touchpad icon to appear on your taskbar which i think is really nice even though the option is still hidden here in taskbar settings it's a very nice workaround that was discovered by Panther. and if you double click on it and set the value to zero the touchpad icon will disappear on your taskbar and this build from the canary channel so a huge shout out to Panther and phantom motion 3 for these discoveries make sure to follow them on twitter if you want to learn more about hidden features in windows 11 and I think we have a first year in this latest build from the Canary channel. That is Microsoft providing also some official fixes in the blog post, of course, because they are, of course, doing fixes behind the scenes. But they are finally documenting some fixes for the Canary channel. First of all, the issue that resulted in some Windows and Saturdays in the Canary channel on Asus devices or PCs with Asus motherboards has been resolved. And these insiders should receive this flight. And also Ethernet connected devices will no longer lose network connectivity after updating to this build. 
build and basically this is all there is to it in this latest build from the canary channel if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was imagine from tech base until next time have a nice day